energy! Yes! Energy! Hello everyone! We are here with Creepy Real! I'm Megan. Kevin. Hey, I'm so excited for Creep It Real. Tell us all about it. It's September 10th and 11th at the Heritage Museum of Orange County in Santa Ana. It's a historic museum that's actually haunted, and we're yeah. super excited. We'll have over 100 spooky vendors, 1960s hearsts, um, roaming characters, themed photo ops, food trucks, live horror punk bands, DJ, you name it, we got it. It's a lot of fun. It's a really cool vibe. Right? Yes, it's an amazing outdoor location, so really great vibe, and the experience is just awesome just, just being there, taking pictures and everything, coming in costume, so we can't wait for everybody to be there. And we can't wait to attend Creep and Real! Thank you. I absolutely love how you guys planned it during haunt season. I love that there's a little, like, something for us for the so. haunt we, season. Yeah, our goal was that it's kind of the, the kickoff of the season, which I think you'd say Midsummer Scream is. Local haunts in kind of the, the Orange County area. We wanted the the um, kind of the, the general public who was like getting into Halloween at that time. Yes. So it's just after Labor Day, kind of the perfect positioning of time before yes. all everything else starts opening up. It's perfect. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yes. And where people can find more information and buy tickets? CreepItRealOC.com. Follow us at CreepItRealOC on Instagram and Facebook and TikTok. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you there. We'll scare you there. from Midsummer Scream to represent Castle Dark at Riverside California's Castle Park. We want to invite all of you guys to come visit us. Thank you so much and we can't wait to see you here. Running dates, we're going to be from September 23rd to October 30th on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. That's perfect, thank you! Looks like this is Autograph Row. It's going to be really crowded today. This is nothing. So, t Midsummer Scream is like the uh, Muse Blues? Or whatever the uh, the uh, what's it called the appetizer before Halloween season starts. It's the appetizer before the main course, you guys. So cool. Here's Crossroad Escape Games. room the weeping witch yeah so the weeping witch is opening up in august which is next month yes. it is when we are game with a live actor in it yes. uh, which you can see here yes. you're gonna have to cast spells and rituals in order to try and banish the witch in an hour oh my goodness that sounds so exciting it's really scary oh my goodness so this is like a definite recommend for haunt season oh yeah and we're open all year long too oh yes get that haunt fix all year long okay so i want to ask you um as a game, um, escape game creator, in comparative to the Hex Room, I read online this is hard. What are the differences? Um, well, this one is hard because of how terrifying it is. Okay. The witch will make appearances. Woo! Like you got to deal with that. Yes. Um, in far as like um, the scariness goes, the Hex Room we say is like a 2 out of 5. Okay. It's more of a thrilling, suspenseful experience where this is a 4 out of 5. I love it. I, I'm all for it. And then the, the game-wise, like, difficulty? Difficulty, definitely hard, just because of the amount of puzzles you have to solve with the suspense of when will this witch reappear. Wonderful. And where can people find more information? At CrossroadsEscapeGames.com. Yes, thank you so much. about all your macabre artwork. Sure, well hi, my name's Cliff LeBlanc and I run Cliff World. And essentially I specialize in fine art, one of a kind oddities, and also bodies and haunted house props. And so behind me are some of my wares. In terms of stuff you can come through and see, we've got some 
drying out dead decaying corpses you you know standard issue haunted house stuff and then in here we have your finer art and oddities um one of my favorite pieces we put together this show is this diver helmet which changes colors and has got a cool skeleton in it so yeah and these are all one of a kind handmade by me casted and poured up so happy to do it this is amazing where can people find you they can find me on instagram just cliff.world it's really simple and then my website's the same thing cliff.world perfect thank you yeah no problem So it is 1.30 in the afternoon and there is still a long line to get in this place. Amazing. Definitely want to be the first one to get here or you're going to miss a lot of stuff. Hey, holy cow, it's still going all the way back over there. Whoa, whoa, no, none of that. There's like these weird dots on the glass. But yeah, y'all can see the line. It goes way over there. So it's about 1.30 now. We haven't even almost halfway have gone through the entire show floor. I don't even think we'll make Hall of Shadows today. So let's get back into that convention center and see what we can see. Okay, we're here with Mr. Scott Dieterman! Oh my god. I Maddie. just did it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but you're worried about saying it right and you said it right. Yeah. So it's all yeah. good. So yeah. tell us all about Slider Dynamics. Well, what would you like to know? I'm being a smart ass. No, well, those of you, those people that don't know, I I created a company to develop and train new sliders, tie in character work into sliding, because even though I teach sliding and I, I have a deep experience in that, simple fact is it's still secondary to good character work. Yes. So I, I tie in both any training facility, any training um, clinic that I do with anybody I do. That and is so amazing. Yeah. And this year, is I, I've been very, very fortunate to be able to, uh, since we're at midsummer here, I can say that, um, to be able to do a panel this year. You know, and I'm super hyped on that. I'm excited. Uh, I've been in this business a long time, and it's it's finally I'm finally able to be like, hey, I can throw out the stuff that I know, my knowledge, and, and pass it on to others, yes. and give them a little bit of insight. That's you know, so amazing. Yeah, it's nice to be able to do what I love and make a little money along the way. Heck yeah! You know, it's great. So, where can people find more information about you? Well, the only thing I really do now for social media is just my my. Um, Instagram handle, it's slider.dynamics. Uh -huh. Dynamics spelled with an X at the end, so D-Y-N-A-M-I-X. Like this, see? Whoa! So much new stuff, a lot of new props, uh, some fun dead bodies and stuff. Um, uh, we've got a couple new masks as well, uh, but we're really trying to jump into props now. So we've got prop skulls and bodies and weapons and all kinds of fun stuff. And big old jack o lantern. Big old crazy pumpkin man. I love it. <laughs> Where can people find your stuff? Uh, you can find us on our website, adamjustfx.com. And uh, follow us on Instagram. That's where we're most active. You can see a bunch uh, of fun uh, little videos and stuff we'll put up of us working on all this fun, crazy stuff. And any last words? Uh, stay spooky. <laughs> Good old convention food. <laughs> Mary got some some kind of chili cheese dog. <laughs> Love 
love Trick or Treat Studios. My Papa costume came from I know, there. you guys. Um, we actually, I ordered a uh, Papa 1 or Papa 4? Two. 2. Papa 2 costume from the band Ghost. He's so cool. There's their, their creepy son that they had. Yeah, that's the one that Mary wants. I totally want the Jennifer Tilly doll. One day. One We're day. here with Jeremy at Midsummer Scream. Jeremy, tell us all about you. Um, hey, look, you found him. You found me. Um, Jeremy, I'm Jeremy Altaveros, Jeremy Lee, however you want to call me. Uh, I run J. Lee Entertainment. And uh, we also run a podcast, Behind the Mask. Yeah. Uh, which I was lucky enough to have the two of you guys on, obviously. So tell us, have you created anything awesome for this haunt season? Yes, we did. Um, so we teamed up with Decay Brigade. Yeah. And we did uh, an exclusive uh, resin statue of their logo that you can get at their booth. It's on pre-order for two weeks. And uh, once that pre-order is closed, you cannot get it anymore. So you guys go get, go pre-order it. You can pre-order it at jlee.com. Could you tell our, our audience about Behind the Mask? Uh, yes, Behind the Mask is a podcast. We, we interview um, anybody from scare actors uh, to makeup artists, um, designers, um, just haunt enthusiasts. Future action. Yeah, it's uh, right now we're on a hiatus, but we're coming back for season two, uh, tour in the haunt season. So be look, look out for that. That's on YouTube, J Lee Entertainment's YouTube channel. So. And where can people find you? Uh, Jaylee.com, uh, J Lee Entertainment on Instagram as well as on YouTube. Thank you. Okay, guys, we are. It is now. Wake up. I think it's 4:30. And we have almost combed every single aisle of the show floor. Uh, we still have to do some crisscrossing. Yeah. We want to make sure we get everything. We're probably not even going to... Yeah, exactly. it's 4.30. We're probably not going to get to do the Hall of Shadows, which is right over there. Yeah. Until tomorrow, because this is a... Holy cow. Big convention. Yes. We haven't been to Midsummer in a couple of years before we were with DK Brigade. Yes. So we were mainly doing all that stuff. This is the first time we're actually walking the floor. We're like, ah! Oh, yeah. But it's a long day. I'm tired and I need energy. I've got this slasher energy. Oh, I'm trying to focus. <laughs> I'm trying to focus it on the can by touching the can, guys. Oh, it's oh. been a long day. It is citrus carnage. Yum. <laughs> all right. So let's finish up walking through all these booths. And it got hot in here too. Yeah. Oof, lots of people. No trauma for me. Mary's afraid of the. Urine smell oh, right there. <laughs> Froggy's frog's got some crazy scents going on. We've got our favorite. Where's our favorite? There's our favorite one right there. Pumpkin spice. Guys, I just want to buy everything. There's so many cool things here. LA based. Um, I've got tropical and horror themed stuff. So lots of jewelry to choose from. I've got t-shirts, backpacks, tote bags. I even have all these little planters that you might want to take some close-ups of that are like Halloween tiki tropical cocktail planters that I hand make. Where can people yeah. find your stuff? SweetSirenDesigns.com. Thank you. Hi, my name is Cameron. Insane Haunt Productions is my company. I sell sliding sparking gear to home haunts, theme parks, and anybody that's looking to slide. Woo! Sliding! So how long have you been making sliding gear? They're like, there's no good places to like, if you want to buy it and not make it, like, this is a, this guys, this is, this is who you go to. This is it, yep, this is, as far as I know, this is the only thing in so Southern California that sells it and makes it for you, um, that you just quickly attach to your hands and gloves and get out there and start sliding. That's amazing. Do you have any other creative uh, ventures you'd like to tell us about? Yeah, so I um, currently 
work with uh, other companies that want to build sets. I'm also a home haunt that has become a professional haunt service, so I build I get contracted to build haunts, uh, for example, the Lovecraft booth um, that is here at the convention center, um, or I'll do my own haunts here at the convention center, uh, like I did at Season Screamings and the Hall of Yuletides um, in 2021. And um, I also have this uh, small business coming along called Hallow World. It is the first Halloween marketplace online, so it's just like Etsy, yeah. but for Halloween. So if you're a vendor that's looking to get on something other than Etsy or you want a website but you don't want to make it, Hello World is going to be a collection of all of the vendors and it's going to be a great way to find products online. They get a free easel sent to them so that they can um, tell people, hey, I'm online on Hello World, find me and everybody else's product on there as well. And you can also donate to Haunts on there. Wow. Lots of cool things going on. That's amazing. Where can people find all this information? Well, you can find everything on InsaneHauntProductions.com. Uh, if you're looking for the vendors, it's on HalloWorld.com. Uh, you can find me also on Instagram uh, at Insane Haunt Productions. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. I go work it, work it, vote. and the whimsical and so you've come to the right place if you want derpy bats and cats. It's amazing. What is your inspiration? Derpy bats and cats, but um, the, the darkness, all of the, I don't know, the fun of it that it can be, the, the playfulness and the joy of Halloween and trick-or-treating and the tricks and the treats. I absolutely love your whimsical style. I have a couple of your stickers on, on the back of my e-reader. I love your work so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Where can people find your work? So you can find it online at BritAustin.com. I'm on Instagram, all the social media and whatnot, and hope to see you there and spook you soon. Here at Midsummer Scream, you could learn all sorts of tricks of the trade here for the haunt industry. We're here with the Essential Art Department. Okay, Essential Art Department, tell us all about you and what do you teach? Uh, so we're an online learning platform that was started in 2021 where we teach people who want to work in the art department for all entertainment mediums from TV, film, theater, themed entertainment. So we started this, me and my co-founder Brandy, who's not here today, uh, started it so that we can help teach um, students maybe things that they don't learn in their average college classroom and how to break into the industry. Pretty much what she just said. <laughs> where can people find out more information about your incredible courses? Uh, you can find us online at www.theessentialartdepartment.com. We're also on Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn. You guys are such an inspiration. Thank you so much for expanding the knowledge to everyone who wants to learn and become a part of the industry. What is one thing you would like to tell our viewers about who want to get into the entertainment industry with art department and all that jazz? Um, I would say my best advice is always learn to take criticism. You're never ever going to please everyone. It's a hard industry and everyone's going to have an opinion. But just listen to other people, take the criticism and learn from it. I'll just shamelessly plug to sign up for a <laughs> TEAD class um, and learn how to get into the department. Yeah. So just, you know, if you want to learn more, like sign up for the course and we can teach you how.
Jessie Hardesty. I'm a Baltimore-based artist, one-woman studio, and I am a woodcutter. So all of my work is hand-carved, one-of-a-kind woodcut. Um, so I do everything. I saw it, draw it, cut it, paint it, pack it, the whole nine yards. That's amazing. Your work gives me all the classic Halloween -y vibes. What's your inspiration? Awesome. Classic Halloween, of oh. course. Um, spooky movies, old advertisements. I collect old Halloween stuff like vintage blow molds and all of that. Um, I grew up in a family of antique dealers and collectors, so I've just always been around cool old stuff. So. That's amazing. Where could people find your work? Um, here at Midsummer Scream, but also on Etsy at Pumpkinhead Print Shop, and then Instagram, just Jesse Hardesty. Okay, guys, we are here at the Tunnel of Terror OC booth, the Haunted Car Wash. Okay, this season, do you want an immersive experience while getting your car cleaned at the same time? Well, visit the Haunted Car Wash, and there will be monsters and spooky ookies and this guy, this guy right here. So be sure to check it out this haunt season. All right, guys, that's going to do it for our first visit to Midsummer Scream of the season. Yes! It was awesome meeting all of our old friends and meeting followers. Yes. And just seeing everybody. It's been so long. Yes, thank you so much for saying hi. We love you guys. Yes, and we want to give a huge shout out to our Patreon supporters, Tom, Cookie Trails, and Tucker Time. Tucker Time. Thanks so much, guys. Consider hitting that subscribe button if you're new here. We go to um, theme parks every week and then spooky conventions, too, and stuff like that. Yes, thank you to the Midsummer Scream team for inviting us. Yes, thank you so much, guys. And yeah. The next video will be, you know, day two will be another day. Yeah, whatever. Too much information. Bye, guys. I'm Tim. And I'm Mary. We're the Nuts Network. Okay, and that's a wrap. Cut. Time to exit. We are exiting. That was a fun day. Here's to tomorrow. Ooh. Fingers crossed. Keep you, you are, you are the master. <laughs> You are the slider dynamics. <laughs> you are determined. <laughs> this is good. This needs to be a gag reel. Yeah, it yes. is. It is a gag this is, this is This whole like this whole part needs to be at the end of the video. Yeah, it's a total, total gag, which is totally fine because I think we knew that was going to happen anyway. Yes, yeah.